And is there anybody on here who has had a in-home sent social? If you guys can chime in, I would love to hear from you. Has anybody had an in-home live party? Yes, I used to host a lot pre-COVID. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's, I'm going back to them now. <laughs> exactly. And that's Rose, right? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um, yeah, Rose has been in the game for a while to the the pre-COVID crew. Um, so she's really aware of how much PRV, right, Rose, that you can get in one shot at a home party. Yes, it is very different than just sharing a link. Very, very different. It's more intimate. People can see it. They like to to really know what it is that they're buying. Um, and it's really easy to do once they see and they can have, you know, like to smell everything and your samples and little trivias and whatnot. But um, it's a lot better than just sharing your link. I completely, I completely agree. Once they're in it, they're just like immersed in the sensi aura and they fall in love with it. And the good thing is that people are now um, ready to start socializing more. You know, I feel that um, the pandemic has really taken a toll on a lot of people, um, mentally, emotionally, um, in many aspects with the separation and the disconnect from social interactions. And people are now ready to open up more and be more social and open up their homes and go to events. So it's a good time to start introducing this, especially that we have a new spring and summer catalog. It's personally one of my favorites. Um, it, it's an exciting way to have your own party. And this is the, I'm sorry, let me, let me backtrack a little. The premise of this is I'm challenging all of you guys to gather this information and host your own scent social, because that's how this all starts. That's how it catapults, um, the trajectory of your business. It starts with your own friends and family, whoever you feel comfortable with, you know, having at your home, or maybe you have a little uh, clubhouse or somewhere like that where you can feel comfortable, but start with your own people. These are your own people that, you know, you know, they should like you or love you or whatever it is. So when you invite them, they should be willing to come, you know, to your party. And we'll talk about ways to make it fun with themes and, and things like that. But from there, your own party, your own scent social is like the genesis of your business. Like, I can't begin to tell you, my business would not be where it's at right now if it wasn't for my first party. And was I scared? Yes. Okay. Just know, maybe you're not, you know, maybe that doesn't scare you, you know, talking in front of people, but I was so nervous. I did not want to do it. I was trying to avoid it. And I was being coached, like, you have to break through that. You have to break through that fear because in this business, this is where pretty much like the blessing is not on the other side of fear. So I said, you know what? All right, I'm going to do it. I did it. I invited my closest family and friends, had a great support system that showed up from there. I think I booked like three parties from there. There were people that have joined my team. Coralis being one of them, she's not on the call now, but it just takes off. So this is the challenge with this uh, Zoom meeting is for you to take this information, schedule a sent social on your calendar. Um, if this month is too late, schedule one for next month. Be, pre be prepared and just do it. And you just continue to do it over and over and over. You try to book parties and you're going to see a change in your business. You're going to see a growth, especially when it's a couple of hours of work and you you can make on average like $200 for a couple of hours on, on a weekend. That's when you're like, oh, hold on, wait a minute. I need to book more parties for a few hours, 200 bucks, not bad. So sent socials. Um, these are some different ways or different things. There's home parties, there's basket parties, there's party links and online parties like Rose was saying. Um, those are a few ways to earn bulk PRV, but today we're going to focus on home parties. Okay. So over here on the left is a very, very old picture of me and one of, or on your right, I don't know what it's showing, but, 
Um, this was one of my very first home parties at my house. Um, oh God, I look at that table. I'm like, what a mess. <laughs> Come a long way. You grow in this business. Um, are you guys able to see all the wording or are the images of the Zoom users covering it? I can see it. Okay, so then maybe it's just me. Hold on, let me do this here. Okay, all righty. So one of the main things um, that I've learned and I want to share with you guys is to have fun. You know, it's easy to, or maybe it's just me, to get all anxious and worried about, oh my God, am I going to mess up? How about this and that? Just throw all that out the window and have fun. Breathe. Make sure that you are giving all those guests that are there, a fun time, a lighthearted time, make them fall in love with the product, show them your energy, because the idea is we want them to be sitting there falling in love with the presentation, falling in love with the demo, falling in love with you as their consultant so they can host their own party. If a party is boring and drag or depressing, they're probably not going to book their own party, right? So just remember that that is kind of the presence that you want to put forth is that you want to make it fun. You want to have them laughing because you want them to be like, man, I got to do this with my girlfriends. I want to book a party so I can get free Sensi. Okay. All righty. So I am a big theme person. Um, are you guys, do you like theme parties? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I, I have personally found that themes have worked best for me. Um, my most famous one is the number one on the list. It's the sip and sniff. And that's basically where I get red wine, some white wine, some like Aldi, which they have good wine and it's fairly inexpensive. Um, and maybe I'll have like a charcuterie board and I just have my friends, my family, my VIP, my clients, whoever it is, come over, they're snacking and they're sniffing. And I'm going to go into kind of how the, the step-by-step -step flow that I do for, um, Ascent Social. There's also muffins and mimosa, mimosas, if you wanted to do a daytime thing, Mardi Gras, margaritas and nachos, um, there's also fragrance flower coloring parties. Um, not sure if many of you guys know, but our fragrance flowers, you can actually, um, get different colored Sharpies and you can like trim the edges of the petals. And over the next few days, it starts absorbing in the oil and it just changes the, the flower, like really pretty. You can Google the images if you want. Um, but some people have those type of parties, there's luau parties, Sundays and Sensi, so it's like an ice cream social. Um, there's a mommy and me Sensi buddy, so some people have, you know, the the kid events where they prepay for the buddies, and you know, there's you can create like little um, adoption certificates and things like that. You can also keep it really simple and just call it Jackie's Scent Social or Sharicia's Sensi Launch Party. So it's really up to you. The flexibility is there for you to, to do whatever you want. I just kind of want to share some of the things that have worked for me. There's tons of ways to do things. You can go on YouTube and find lots of videos. You can go in the workstation and find different things. Again, feel free to, how they say, eat the meat, spit out the bones with this. Uh, let's see. Let's go to the next page. I don't know why it's not letting me do it that way. Okay. Um, also with invitations, there's tons of ways to, to invite. Um, I like to give, you know, our team scripts. I know some people like, I don't know what to say, or I don't know how to invite. I don't know what to do. So here are just a few that you can use. Again, there's plenty of scripts out there, but, um, hi, you know, Maria, I hope all is well. If, if I were to host a sip and sniff Sensi party on March 30th, would you come? So that's something that we learned at World Tour, uh, which is one of our local Sensi events, is using the if I, would you. So, hey, Maria, if I were to bring some chips and guac, would you have 10 of your friends over? 
hey, Maria, if I were to bring some muffins and mimosas, would you have your friends over to earn free Scentsy? So if I, would you? So that's like a little um, tip that they gave us at World Tour and the trainings. Uh, oh, Sharon entered the waiting room. Okay. Um, here is another one. Um, hey, Maria, I hope all is well. I'm really excited to share our new spring and summer Scentsy fragrances. If I were to host a sip and sniff Scentsy party on March 30th, could you come or would you come? So that's just another um, script there. Um, another one. Hey, Maria, I'm hosting a sip and sniff Scentsy party on March 30th. It's going to be lots of fun. Could I count you in? So just different energies and different tones in the way that you're inviting. You always do want to make it personal. That's super important. Um, you don't want your intended guest to feel like you're sending a mass invite. So always make sure that you're personalizing it to the person that you're speaking with. Oh, the baby. Um, that you're personalizing it to the person that you're speaking with, whatever tone um, that you use, whatever words that you use. So they know that this is a genuine invitation that's going directly to them. And a goal number for your party or anytime that you have somebody hosting a party for you, the goal is to have at minimum 10 guests. That is always my number. I want 10 booties inside of that house. That is the magic number because with that, you will usually have a really high PRV. Usually with 10, I'm averaging anywhere between 750 to 1,000 in PRV with 10 people. Because if you're taking time away from your day or your weekend or your family, you know, for a few hours to do this Sensi party, as well as let's say your host is taking time to open up her home to host this Scentsy party. We wanna make it worthwhile for you as the consultant and also for your host to earn a lot of free and half off rewards. So we wanna make sure that she has a goal in mind. Hey Maria, the goal is 10 people. But you know what that means? To have 10 people, you have to invite a lot of people. That's something that I've learned. I've had to invite like over 30 people in order to get 10 because human nature, people are just going to cancel it, And that's just how it is. But the goal is always 10 people. Okay. So let's go to the next. Okay. So your display should be simple. And the reason um, behind that, I didn't do this when I first started. It was excessive. It was so excessive. Um, someone may be sitting at that party that's looking for an opportunity. They're needing something where they can bring in some extra cash. They're looking for something flexible. Um, they're looking for something family friendly, but if they see you with a table with like 20 warmers, three diffusers, I mean, just overload and having to love, I mean, it takes you forever to bring your stuff in. They might be like, oh man, that is too much. And I remember I had one hostess tell me that she was like, man, this looks really fun, but girl, my back, I got back issues and you, you were just carrying way too much. <laughs> and I was like, well, you wow. don't have to do everything, but, and it's true. So that's what, keep it simple. With your kit, especially like uh, Brandy and, and Jackie, your kit really comes with everything that you need. It doesn't have to be overly complicated. With time, if you want to start building a little bit more, that's okay. And I'm going to show you guys um, what my table would look like. But you don't need a bunch of things. If all you have is your uh, kit, you use your kit. The most important thing is that they can smell the fragrances, that they can smell the testers, that you have some warmers going on so that house smells amazing, that you have your catalogs and you guys are having a good time. That's the most important thing. So let me see if it's... Okay, no, I went too far. Let me go back. Oh my goodness, what is that? Mm. Oh, 
Okay. I told y'all bear with me. Okay. So I am just gonna show you real quick. Let me move my chair. Hold on. Okay. Hopefully you can see. And again, this is honestly a lot, but it's because I've been with Sensi so long. But again, your kid is just fine. But with time, these are some of the things that you can build up to use your, your own free and half off credits to build up to. So hopefully you can. Okay. First and foremost, this baby right here, our purifier. Very, very important to build up to get this and a diffuser. And can anybody tell me the reason why we want to have that? Oh, because that diffuser one is, is, it has a pretty nice cost, but our diffusers yes. have lots of different shades that once you have your base, you can go through and purchase different shades. They're so pretty. And to uh, describe it is is just not enough. So I that was actually one of my first purchases was the Stargaze diffuser. Ah, uh, Stargaze. When I joined, that was the first one, and then I have plenty of shades now. But um, yes, that is something to describe. It's just it's going to be very hard for someone to grasp that concept, and then they have a, a warranty, you Correct. know, which I've used a you know um, a few times with some of my clients. So. Um, yes, they do have a, a nice cost to them, but they will replace them if, if the base damages. Mm -hmm, exactly. And that's definitely something that separates a uh, Sensi, which is one of the things I was going to mention. So thank you for sharing that. And like Rose said, the reason why we want to build up to having a purifier and a diffuser is because that is one of our highest ticket item. Our purifier is 250 and our diffusers range in price from like 130 to 150. We get paid on PRV. So the more you sell these, you sell four of these, you're already at 1000 PRV. So if you were to sell four of these in a month, you're gonna make $250 in commission just by selling four of these. Again, diffusers, higher price point. So I want to make sure, because we're in sales. And I mean, if if you're here, I would guess that a majority of you here want to earn income from the products. So why not have products that can help you earn the most? So definitely with time, try to build up your display to have some of the higher ticket items, because that is what you're going to be earning commission on. So that is why I have a purifier, I have a diffuser, I have a warmer with a light bulb, I have an element warmer, and I bring a mini warmer. And the reason is when I'm going into our different um, fragrance products like these, I want to let them know, hey, okay, so you know, this is an air purifier. It uses a HEPA filter. You know, you go into that, you have to study your products. You can read your catalog, which it breaks down everything you need to know in there. And you can literally have your catalog as your, with your, um, your guests. Okay. Then I mentioned, you know, I have, we have diffusers for those who like essential oils. It creates a different vibe. We also have our, um, our, what's the word? I, I forgot what I say. Like this is the baby that basically started it all. Um, we have our warmers that use a low temperature specialty bulb to melt the wax. And then for those that don't want a light bulb, we have element warmers. And then we have mini warmers for small spaces. So I just kind of want them to see like what that looks like, the different options, which is why I have one with a light bulb, one without, and a mini warmer. I also try to have like a Scentsy Buddy, a Buddy Clip, um, a mini diffuser with pods, a Scentsy Go, this new tabletop diffuser that uses pods. And, and over here, some of our cleaning products, our laundry, which is amazing. Everyone that smells our washer whisk falls in love with it. And I have gotten booked parties because they want that out of all things, the laundry. Laundry love is amazing. So 
I call that simple. Honestly, it's probably a little much, but I could put all this in a big um, tote bag, you know, like those big blue Ikea tote bags. Sensi has some that are just as big and I can fit all of that in there. And that's always my goal is to go in and out with one bag because I don't want them to be like, oh girl, no, that's too much. Hold on, I think somebody's chatting. Let me make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, and great question. Somebody says, what do you need for Ascent Social? So basically everything in your kit, everything in your kit, you know, that warmer, definitely catalogs. You want to make sure that you have catalogs because they need to sift through it. Your testers and again, what you have. That's pretty much it. Good question. Um, okay, so let's see. Um, again, I'm just kind of like walking step by step how I do my parties. Obviously, as the guests come in, you welcome them, thank them for attending. Um, something that I do that's fun is I get little um uh, like hello, my name is tags, and then I and I'll share this on the team page. All right. Can you see that? The what's your sensey name? Yeah. yeah. Okay. All right. So when they come in, I say, hey, you know, Maria, thank you so much for joining us. I appreciate you being here. I'm here. Write your name on this name tag. Let's find out what your sensey name is. And it's just something silly that I've, you know, I've done for years and they really like it because I'll be like, oh, I'm, you know, Evergreen Donut Diane. And, you know, we just start calling each other the names, our sensey names throughout the night. So it's just something cute, just something fun. Um, I like games a lot. Um, and we'll go into some games that you can play. Click to exit full screen. Oh, Lord. Okay. I appreciate you guys' patience with us. Let's see. Okay. Um, once they're in and I give them the name tag, you know, I invite them to, Hey, you know, come in, eat some snacks, you know, have some drinks, serve them a drink. After they do that, you kind of feel the crowd. And then you start directing people to, I usually have like a center area. It's usually like the living room where there's like an ottoman and I have all the testers and the catalogs. And then I say, Hey, well, we have other guests, um, while other guests are on their way here, take a look at some of the fragrance testers, um, take a sniff and start writing down your wish list, write down all your favorite scents. So I kind of have people doing that while other guests are coming in. And then I usually give, um, I usually start like the presentation within 30 minutes, at 30 minute mark. Because people are usually always running late and, you know, they're eating, they're snacking, they're mingling, they're doing all that kind of stuff. So at about the 30 minute mark is when I start the, the demo. So like usually my goal is like two hours to be like done with the party. And the more that you do them, the better that you get at it. I promise. <laughs> Before I am a little long. Okay. Do I have any questions up until this point? Um, yes. Hi. How are you doing? Hi. Who is this? This is Sharon. Oh, hi, Sharon. How are you? Um, all this well. Um, I came on a little late, but um, yeah, I guess I didn't know because you're know, kind of new for um, not new new, but um, I've never done a party before. I've never even know what about a party. I guess. Mm -hmm. Um. So this is good um, that you just told me about the name tag thing, how you better, you know, that'd be fun to do that. And um, the thing about um, the scents, that's just a little small little things that you put out for them, right? So they can yes. smell those and see what scents they like. Give them a piece of paper and let them put their their um, fragrance on there, right? Uh, yes, okay. ma'am. The fragrance testers. Okay. And that's how they, that's how they put their order in, right? To whatever yes. they like. So what I, I'm actually, um, working on customizing like a wish list for us. Oh, okay. Um, 
once I finish that, I'm going to post it on the team page. So it's a wish list that has like her primary suite, guest room, office, kids room, foyer, because we want them thinking about all the different places that they can put Sensi products. And I all always right, yeah. tell them, don't worry about, write your wish list as if there was no budget, right? We don't want them holding right. back because we want them to write everything that they want because the idea is, hey, if your wish list is bigger than your budget, I got you. These are some ways right. that you can get these products for free and half off. And it's through booking a party, which we're going to get to that in a little bit. But that's that's where the wish list comes in. We want them falling in love with stuff and writing it down because we know there's power when we write things. So we want them wow. to write down all the different warmers. We want them to write down their favorite fragrances. And then later on, we're going to talk about how they can get them for free and half off. Um, yes. And then the items that we sell, because, you know, you know, I'm just, I just want to start it off with like, um, the waxes and the um the sprays um and then i had one warmer i think it was one warmer and do we sell it at the price that's in the book I just yes wanna, i just want to make sure okay i just want to make sure that because i didn't know yeah i mean yeah that's you, what i did i did yeah yeah you're more than welcome if you wanted a discount it you you can we just can't post on social media's discounted prices we can only post um the retail prices if we're going to okay. offer um, like our VIPs or special sales, it has to be private. Oh, okay. Yeah. We just can't never, we can never sell for more. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, okay. So, okay. I'm a separate page. Okay. Okay. Because I didn't know how that work. I'm like, do I supposed to sell this for more? Or do I supposed uh, to sell it for, I didn't, I didn't really know. <laughs> yeah. No, I, good I just sold it for what the book says, you know? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, you sell it for the retail okay. price. Right, okay. So that's good, I got that. I think I'll try that. That party seems like it's going to be fun. That yeah, party. these parties are a lot of fun. And um, Rose, who's on here also, she's been here for a while and she she can vouch. She says she has a great time. We're the pre-COVID, you know, uh, consultant. So that's kind of like all that we knew. So now we're just, we're hopping back to the basics because we all saw what it was like to have rapid success through mm -hmm. these set socials. Uh, oh, yes, you want to chime in, Rose? Yeah, I also, what I found very, very helpful for the parties is that I would take my, my sample kit and I would break it down by the fragrance families that we have. So I would separate everything, bakery, citrus, floral, fresh, fruity, spice, and woods. And I had separate little containers for all of them with the name of whatever that fragrance family was. And then I had a sheet that I would pass out to everybody with those same exact fragrance families. And then as they smell, they can check mark. Like, I really like this one. Like I would have oh. like the different ratings at the top of the page. If you really, really liked it, if you kind of eh, liked it. So it was easier for them to build their bundles. I knew that they were going to be buying by the end of the party. You know, they can look at their sheet. They can be like, I love DeLuna. I didn't really like, you know, um, Havana, Cabana or whatever, you know, but, um, it would just made it so much easier for them. And this is just feedback from the clients that, that I've done these parties for. So that was one of the best things that I would do at the very, very beginning, just separate everything and then put those sheets out. They would grab them as they came in and then just start sniffing. Always make sure you do like a, a coffee in the middle, you know, so that way you can break up the different scents. Um, and like that, they can really, um, enjoy like the scent itself without having it overpower from all the scents they've been sniffing all night. That is so true. And thank you so much for sharing that because that is a very important um, point to, to point out is to separate the testers by the fragrance categories. And this is all in your, your catalog. That's the beauty about Sensi. Everything really is simple. Um, in your catalog, it breaks down the different categories. So all you have to do is get like little mini baskets and break them up into the category and maybe put a little label um, or a little clipboard. Like, um, what is it? You know, those little chalk clips where you can write like woods or bakery because there might be somebody who just hates bakery and they don't want bakery, but they know, okay, you know what? That's bakery. I'm staying away from there. We don't want them to sniff that. 
And it's important for us to ask as they're sitting down, hey, so what type of scents do you normally like? Oh, I love, I love fruity. Ah, okay, hold on. Well, this is the basket for you. And we direct oh, okay. them to that. Or if they, and I also ask, and what do you not like? And they might be like, oh no, I can't stand bigger. I'm like, okay, well, you don't want to, you don't want to come over here. This is, these are your baskets over here. So, you know, thank you so much for that, Rose, because we are, we're consultants. So we want to make sure that we are consultant and that they can see, wow, you know, she really, she knows what she's talking about and she's helping me find the perfect fragrance and the perfect warmers for my home, my office, et cetera. So good point. And to add to that, if I'm going to try not to forget, but y'all hold me accountable to the wish list and, um, that like it, love it, dislike it list that, um, Rose was saying like it, love it. Cause the good thing is there's another, there's other consultants that have already created that list. So I can, um, find it on one of the like design pages and share it with you guys. Like it, love it, just like, and the wish list. I don't want to forget. Okay, perfect. All right. So presentation time, the 30 minutes are here. It's 6 30. It's time for you to start your little demo. Um, you're just gonna, you know, get in front of them, introduce yourself, you know, thank them again, and just set the flow of what they can expect. Uh, let them know that you're going to be sharing what sets us apart from Sensi. Um, let them know that you're going to let them know how they can get the products for free and half off and how they can earn cash on them. And then what I like to do is um, after I say that, I say, is there anybody here that has used Sensi, that loves Sensi, that doesn't mind sharing? And usually there is someone. If not, it's like, oh, wow, yay, I'm so excited. I get to introduce Sensi to you guys. But more often than not, there's usually a person that, is familiar with Sensi and love it. And you want them to speak because now it's an unbiased, you know, opinion or whatever it may be from someone else. So it it looks like, oh, wow. Okay. So this girl ain't just trying to sell us something. This is really good. And usually people that love Sensi are like, they're like the best salespeople. And then that's the person that you're like, well, you might be a good consultant. This person to keep your eye on. So those that say that they love Sensi can either be a great person to host a party or a consultant. Um, Rose, I'm not sure, is your hand up from the prior or did you want to add something else? Oh yeah, no, I'll put that down. Thanks. Okay. <laughs> want to make sure because you're adding some good stuff here. All righty. So let's go um, to the can I ask one question. You know, the little things, the, the smeller testers or whatever, mm -hmm. do we, um, we give that to them or we keep them? Oh, those are yours. Yeah, we, we don't we give those, those away. Them. Yeah, those oh, okay. are yours. Okay. Yeah, those sure are what you're going to use for all your, for your parties. Because that's how okay. people are going to sniff um, the different fragrances that we have. Okay. Good question. Yeah, some people want it. Yeah, some people might think it's like, oh, it's like a little complimentary. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> no, those, those are your workers. Uh, your little workers, your testers. Um, okay, let's see. Next page. Okay. I'm a huge game person. If, if those who know me, I love games. I play them for everything, for team meetings, for home parties, for like personal get together. I just love games. Um, again, eat the meat, spit out the bones. Um, but one thing that I had learned from some superstar directors before is that games should be fun, but they should also be very purposeful. Meaning, okay, if you're playing a game, it should be to educate, right? Um, if you're playing a game, it should be a booking game. If you're playing a game, it should be a joining game. Uh, I mean, there's times that I've played games that have nothing to do with anything at all. It's just to like break the ice, you know? Um, and it's okay to do that. You'll know your crowd and you'll, the more you do it, you'll, you'll switch things up. Your party isn't always going to be the same. Um, I just want to give you a foundation of how you can build upon that. So the first one is a really good game. It's called the Sensi story game. Um, I like to play this right at the beginning after I hear people sharing about how much they love Sensi in the crowd. 
I'd be like, hey, you know, thank you so much for sharing that. Um, with that being said, we're going to play our first game of the night. Who's ready? And with that, I usually, I love scent circles because they're really inexpensive and they make great little giveaways. So the Scentsy Story Game, I'm going to be sharing this on the team page. Um, I'm going to pull it up real quick here just so you can see it. Okay. All right. So um, I don't expect you to, you know, read all of that now. And again, I'll share it on the team page. But I like this game, especially for new consultants, especially if you've never hosted a party. And the reason is, if you forget anything in the presentation, this kind of pretty much laid the foundation for what Sensi is, how it got started, and what, you know, separates us. So the way that it works. Um, mm -hmm. oh. um, you give somebody a scent circle, one of the guests, and you let them know that each time you're going to read a story and each time they hear the word Sensi, or scent, they're going to pass it to the right. And then at the end of the story, whoever has it gets to keep it. And basically the story is, I guess I'll read it really quick. Um, here's a story. Sensi was started in Centerville, Utah in July, 2003 by Colette Gunnell and Kara Egan. Colette and Kara were both stay at home moms looking for a safer alternative to candles. Orville Thompson encountered the small company at a home show in early 2004 and brought some samples home. Orville and his wife, Heidi, were intrigued by the powerful emotions and memories the fragrance brought to the surface without the dangers of burning a candle. Orville and Heidi purchased Sensi, so you see they'll be passing the, the scent circle, and relocated it to Meridian, Idaho, where it continues to grow very rapidly. Sensi experienced a 400% increase in each of its first three years of operations. In 2010, Sensi was named the number one consumer product company on the Inc. 500 list, and the number of current Sensi independent consultants hit the 3,000 mark. It's way more than that now. Sensi consultants share the Sensi experience throughout the United States, Puerto Rico, Guam, Canada, Mexico, and in 2011 expanded into Europe. Authentic Scentsy bars contain highly scented wax made especially for authentic Scentsy warmers. They are leadless, wickless, flameless, and smokeless. Authentic Scentsy warmers are electric and wax is heated by a low watt bulb. An on and off switch is conveniently located on the cord. Scentsy warmers also make excellent night lights. You can order Scentsy warmers and highly scented wax bars at any Scentsy party. Better yet, when you schedule a Scentsy party in your home or take a Scentsy basket party to work, you can earn free Scentsy products and other generous Scentsy host rewards. If you're interested in an unlimited income potential, if you like people and you love Scentsy, I'll be happy to talk to you after the party about becoming a Scentsy consultant. Now enjoy the sensational Scentsy party, the other Scentsy guests, your sensationally charming Scentsy host, and most important, our authentic Scentsy warmers and the wide variety of Scentsy fragrances and other products. <laughs> so did that not kind of basically do the whole demo for you? <laughs> yep, that was good. It's a, it's a, if you forget anything else, you literally can like close up the party right then and there. And at the end, like that last paragraph, they're all like laughing because it's getting passed like so many times and they want to keep it. It's like a hot potato. So I really like this game because like I said, it delivers the meat and bones of who we are, what we do, how they can um, host a party and how they can join. So that is a game that I definitely play. Um, and then the other two games, I'll go into it in a little bit. But like I said, the idea is whenever you are playing games, again, you can go on the internet and search for your own game. Just try to keep it in the, the, the premise of, is it educating about our products? Is it helping me book parties? Is it helping me um, with the join opportunity? Okay. And da -da -da. all right. Oh, what's it on? Do? Let me put this bigger. Okay. Um, 
study your catalog and the product knowledge guide. So again, our catalog, if you feel like you're like, oh my gosh, but I don't know everything. It's okay. You're not expected to know everything. If you take time when you're alone, maybe you're in the bathroom, maybe you're keep one in your purse. Maybe you're at a traffic light at a doctor's office where whenever you have some downtime or carve out time, because it is our business, go through the catalog, literally page by page. And it is going to explain our products. It's going to, it's going to differentiate. Look, no flame, no soot. Uh, Sensi bars are uh, safer than wicked candles because no flame is required. Like really all the product knowledge that you need is in our catalog. So study this. Uh, Sensi even has a product, um, a product knowledge guide that has all the different categories and breaks it down to with the selling points. So definitely take time to, to do that. Oh, I spell differentiates wrong. I don't like typos, but differentiates. Um, so what differentiates Sensi from the retail stores? That is something that I try to keep at the forefront of my mind when I am doing my presentation. Because most people, if they don't know of Sensi, are going to be like, well, what's the difference between you and Walmart? Or what's the difference between you and Target and, you know, the warmers that I see. So we want to make sure that we know our products and we know what sets us apart. And I, that's one thing that I say off the, the bat. I say, okay, so I'm pretty sure many of you guys have gone into other retail stores and seen warmers, but here, I'm going to explain the difference and what separates us from the retail store warmers. One, all of our warmers are handcrafted, made by hand. They come with a lifetime warranty. So if anything were to happen with your warmer, if it stops working, Sensi is going to replace that warmer for you absolutely free. It doesn't matter if it happens two months from now. It doesn't happen if it's six years from now. They are going to replace that warmer for you. Unlike a retail store warmer, if your retail store warmer stops working in six months, you're going to have to repurchase a brand new warmer. So that's one of the things. Two, our warmers use a specialty light bulb. Okay, it uses a specialty light bulb, which means our warmers and our wax will never get hot enough to burn. If you look at the instructions at retail store warmers, it tells you to keep it in sight and to turn it on for, to turn it off after about two to four hours. They can look at that. That's what it says. To turn it off after two to four hours because it can become a fire hazard. What Sensi warmers, because of the way that they were designed, our low wattage specialty bulb and our food grade paraffin wax, our warmers can be left on 24 seven without the risk of a fire hazard. So you have the peace of mind knowing that one, you don't have a candle that you have to worry about blowing out a flame. Two, you have a warmer that you can literally go on vacation. And I say this, I'm like, I go on vacation. I don't turn my warmers off at all. And one of the biggest things that they love is this right here, guys. This is a must, okay? I take my finger because I would have already had the wax melting um, at the party. I take my finger and I dip it in the wax. And I say, you cannot do this with a candle. You cannot do this with a retail store warmer, but you can do this with a Sensi wax and warmer. So this means that if God forbid you spill it, an elderly um, adult spills it, your pet spills it, your child spills it, they're not going to get burned. It's going to be warm like a, like a wax, you know, when you get a manicure, that paraffin wax because it's slightly above body temperature, but they're not going to get burned. And those are some of the things that separates our warmers from, and our wax from the retail store warmers. And that right there, they're like, oh, wow, okay. And that's usually enough for them to be like, okay, I want to cross over. Um, and here, this just kind of goes into like understanding like the differences between features and benefits. 
So a can of soda is made of aluminum round, you know, all that stuff. But what are the benefits? Um, the aluminum keeps your drink colder for longer. It's recyclable, fits perfectly. So, you know, those are some things that we, as we're presenting and as we do this for longer periods of time, we can understand what are some of the features of our products, some of our benefits, right? So benefits are that features are there. It's made out of they're handmade, right? They are a lot, some of them are hand-blown glass, right? So some of the benefits are that it comes with a lifetime warranty. You can leave them on for 24 seven. So keeping a balance of both um, features and benefits, and that usually comes with time and experience. Um, okay, facts tell, story sell. Try to incorporate stories. You know, I share stories of how you know, I was so happy when I found Sensi because when my daughter was about six or seven years old, we were at a family's house. They had a candle and my daughter's hair caught on fire. And this is a true story. So when I found out about Sensi, a safer alternative to candles, knowing that I could still have fragrance in my home without worrying about my daughter's hair catching on fire or my home catching on fire, it was a no brainer for me. So try to incorporate stories, find stories, whether it's your own, whether you have to pull from, from my story, you have to pull from another consultant story, try to bring in stories into your presentation to help sell the products. Okay, after you've done your demo or reviewing our product lines, this is really, really, really important, right? So you've kind of gone over, you know, the different things, the different product lines, and it's okay if as you're going through what you have, that you go through the catalog and you say, okay, open up to page, let's see what the diffusers are. Okay, let's say you're talking about diffusers. You can say, okay, guys, let's open up to page 53. It's okay for you to do that as you're going through the product lines, you know, because that might give you a peace of mind knowing, okay, these are the different, you know, diffusers that we have. Our diffusers have 16 LED lighting effects that you can display a color or rotate, et cetera, et cetera. So use this as a guide to assist you with your presentation. And then once you're done with, Kind of explaining like the different product lines, etc. Now this is key. So you're like, all right, guys. So you probably already have your wish your wish list. Now your what I want you to do is go to page sixty four. So I say, all right, everybody, go to page sixty four, and then they open up page sixty four, and I'm like, all right. So now. What I want you to do is look at your wish list, look at the warmers that you have, look at the products, and we are going to find a bundle where we can plug these in for you. Because in these bundles, you can save anywhere from 12 to $15. And then I highlight the, I don't know if you guys have your um, catalogs, but I like to highlight the, either the, uh, it's the perfect Sensi, the perfect Sensi bundles. And I say, okay, guys, so the, the most popular ones that a lot of my clients love are the two $35 warmers that come with six bars for $91, um, saving you 15, or the two $40 warmers, which come with six bars for 101, saving you $15. When they hear saving $15, they they are oh it's every time it's amazing every time and they they feel like they're getting a deal which they are so always point them to this bundle and save so they know that they can get multiple products at a discount and again i like to point them to the middle so something that's not too cheap but also not necessarily the most expensive one somewhere kind of in the middle and then from there you know they're going to be writing on their order form, you know, on their paper. Oh, okay. Yeah. I want this. I want that. And, and, oh, and it comes with six bars. Okay, good. Yeah. These are the six that I love. Oh, this is awesome. Um, so that is a, that is really how I got a lot of high sales was through these bundles, because if it's one oh one, and I have, my goal was 10 people and I can get those 10 people to buy these bundles. 
we're already over a thousand PRV. So I've made my 250 commission for those couple of hours just off of these bundles. And they always order more. Like they usually don't just order that. Then they'll order like a room spray and, you know, other things like that. But definitely highlighting the bundle and save is really, really, really important. And I'm I'm wrapping up. I know we're at the top of the hour. Um, and then I say, all right, so if your wish list is bigger than your budget, I have a solution for you. Then I play another game. So I got this. This is my number one, has always been my number one game. It's called Roll the Dice, Pick a Prize, okay? So what I do is I say, all right, we're going to play a little game. I'm going to have all of you guys roll the die, and then I'm going to have you write that number on top of your wish list. I got this at five below, by the way, but you can use any die, and I'm sure maybe if you go on Amazon, you can find like a jumbo um, die, but they love it because they feel it's like they're at prices right. I don't know, but it's just kind of fun. Um, so I have them roll it. Everybody rolls it. Okay. Oh, you rolled a one, Maria. Great. Right number one on your wish list. Oh, Jane, you rolled a three. Okay, great. No, right number three on your wish list. Boom. Okay. Now, after everybody rolls the die, I show this. Can you guys see this? Um, this little sheet that says you roll the dice and the odds are in your favor. Yes. Okay. All right. So then I print that sheet out and then I say, all right, so who earned, who rolled the number one? Hey, Maria. Okay, Maria. Yay. All right, Maria. So when you book a party at your party as my way of thanking you, in addition to the free and half off Sensi that Sensi is going to give you, my gift to you is going to be a fragrance flower. Okay. All right. Oh, who, who rolled the number two? Oh, Jane. Great. All right, Jane. In addition to the, the host reward that Sensi's going to give you, when you book a party with me today at your party, I'm going to be gifting you a whiff box. And then I just proceed to do that. Okay. And this is how I have booked a lot of parties. Now to answer your question, this is an initial investment for you. Okay. However, you are going to know who wants to book a party. So if Jane booked a party because she wants a fragrance flower, you know that from now until Jane's party, you can use some of your free and half off rewards to get a fragrance flower for her to present at her party, right? So that's the idea is that you will use free and half off rewards that you are accumulating to get these products as the gifts for your hostesses. And it is initial investment. Maybe you're paying half price for it, but that is the price that you're paying to have a party. And it's typically always worth it, okay? And I'll be sharing that also in the, in the team page. So we're almost done here, guys. I appreciate your patience. I know we're past the hour. Um... Okay. And then I let them know. Um, all right. And by the way, Jane, when you book your party, the average party is between 500 and 750 in sales. And with that, you are going to get three items at 50% off and $75 in free sensi money. So as you can see, by booking a party, you can definitely sensify your home without paying full price for it. Okay. So at the end of the party, when we're closing out, just let me know if you want to, um, book your party and we'll pencil you in. They like to hear pencil so it doesn't feel, it feels like a soft commit um, and they're more up to saying yes. And then, and then from there, you're about to transition into the join opportunity. And you're like, all right. So if you like the idea of not only earning free products on that same, on that same party, if you are a consultant, in addition to the free and half off products, okay, that $75 in free Sensi money, um, the three items at half off on that same party, you will earn between a hundred to $187 in commission. So if you are looking for something flexible, if you're looking for something fun, if you're looking for community, if you like to travel and earn incentive trips, Sensi is always hosting an incentive trip. 
you have a join promo, you can say whatever the join promo is. Like this month, it's $35. So we have a mini kit special join promo for $35 this month, or we have a super size uh, jumbo kit for $99 that gets you everything that you need to launch your business and start earning money with Sensi. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, let me know and I'll go ahead and get you started. Then you're wrapping it up. You thank them for coming, you open it up and, you know, for any questions and um, let them know that you'll help them, you know, process their order, create the bundles for them and just set the expectations for what the delivery time is going to be. I always say, you know, I have to quote you seven to 10 business days. Usually it's a little bit faster. If it's going to come to you, you let them know it's going to come to me to save you shipping. You can pick it up for me or I'm going to drop it off. Whatever it is, but just be really clear with the communication of how the order is going to be delivered. And the end. <laughs> All righty. So um, do I have any questions? Um, yes, one question. Um, okay, when they book a party, they get $75, meaning that they can order anything for $75 and it's free, right? Uh, so the, for a very, very, very good question. So when you when we're talking about that party, then that might be a good idea to go to page four because the tiers are on there for the, the, the product credit and the rewards. So I'll say the average party is between here and here. I always tell them it's between, no, actually right here, between 500 to $999. When you, when they meet that tier, that's when they're going to earn between $75 and $149.99 in free product credit that they can use towards anything that they like. Oh, okay, got yeah. it. And 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 three items at half off. However, right. the, the catalog does a really good job of letting us know if some, a product cannot be used with host rewards. Oftentimes licensed products. So like Disney, um, Disney, Marvel or charitable, anything like that. <laughs> look at the catalog it will tell you it will say um excluded from post rewards or it'll tell you like with these higher ticket items when you go on here there'll be a little asterisk and it says um for the diffusers look it says products between 85 and 189.9 requires two half price credits to save 50 percent off so if they have four, four, um, credits, like four items at 50% off. If they want anything that's between 85 to 189.99, like a diffuser, two of those will kind of get eaten up to get it at half off. So then they would have two remaining plus their $75 in free product credit. So when in doubt, the catalog will tell you in asterisk if it okay. can't be, or really if it can't. It's that's when it'll tell you. It'll tell you if it cannot be used. And generally speaking, it's like licensed and charitable products that you can't use host rewards for. Good okay. question. Great. This is good. Right. Any so, other questions? Hi, I have a question. Mm -hmm. Um, I know you kept referring to the the team page. Um, can I get an invite? Oh my gosh, absolutely. <laughs> Rose, can you invite her to the page? Yeah, I'll go ahead and do her and Jackie. Perfect. Yes, girl, we got to have you in there. <laughs> Thank you. My bad, Brandy. It's okay. I forgive you, big sis. <laughs> oh, good question. And we have a team YouTube page also. Um, so I will be sharing this recording as well as every other there's going to be past recordings on there. So you can um, go on there and, and see some trainings also. Uh, Veronica, do you, is, I'm not sure if that's an old hand up or if that's a new one. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are um, you? Excuse the baby, but I'm babysitting my grandson. It's, oh my God, your grandson. Yeah. 
Girl. I have three grandsons. I have three. Oh my God, you look too young. <laughs> I wish. Thank you. But no, it really wasn't a question. Like normally, um, I tell everybody like how I I got started. I actually attended my coworker's sister's um social on Facebook. And I bought some stuff from her. So her consultant, you know, she was talking to everybody. And I said, you know what? I'll do a sense of social. No problem. She was like, you don't have to do anything. I'll set everything up. You just attend your Facebook Live. I said, okay, no problem. The goal was 500. So I told her, I said, okay, if I get 500, I'll join. I think my party was like over a thousand. You see? Yes. So what she did was she flipped my party so that, and I got her commission. Yes. So I got like 300 and something dollars. I got the purifier, the Scentsy Goat. Like I I think I paid, if anything, maybe like $50 for all the stuff that I got. I love it. I love but, it. So that's how I started. But then a lot of people, they was like, oh, you know, I don't want to do, I'm not, you know, computer friendly and all of that. And I was like, okay, well, I can do a home party. Mm -hmm. But then it was like, people was like, oh, well, still COVID is like, you know, still out there. So nobody wanted to do that. And I was like, okay, we can do party links. Mm -hmm. But I try, you know, I always keep like little samples and stuff in my purse and stuff at work. So I do do the, um, have the scent circles also with a label and a QR code. Um, I give those out when I'm out and about. Um, awesome. I love it. Thank you so much for sharing that because um, you, you brought up another point. So in addition to that 10 people goal, we want to let our hostesses know, and even for ourselves, the minimum goal is 500. Like that's not even, you know what I mean? We want it to be worthwhile for them. We want our hostesses to have the same experience you had where they're like, what? I got like over $400 worth of stuff for $50. Like that creates excitement in them. And then they're mm -hmm. going to share that with other people. Like, oh my God, girl, you have to have one of these. Like, I got my whole house sensified. And I got four hundred dollars worth of stuff, or you know, whatever it may be, for fifty dollars. So yeah. the idea is, we want to make sure our hostesses are spoiled, and we tell them the goal is ten minimum people, because at very minimum, we want to be at five hundred. The goal really is a thousand, but at minimum five hundred for this to be worth your while. And then if there's people that don't make it to the party, then that's when we we give them the link also and be like, here, here's your party link. Send these to the people who can't make it. Send these to your out of town people. Send these to the, the people that cancel last minute so they can still show support. And yep, you can so that's how I got mine. Ah, oh, that is so awesome. Yeah, that, that's how that's how I had got mine, and it was like everybody. I was just like, oh my god, like, are you serious? Like, she was sending me text alerts. Like you're at this much, you're at this much. And I'm like, oh my God, the goal was like 500. Uh, so uh, I just was like, okay. So she was like, you still going to join? I said, well, I, I told you and I'm going to keep my word. I love it. That's so awesome. And to add to that, that's, it's also really important for new consultants off the bat to have their own launch party. We call them launch party. Yep. Because you want them to surpass shooting star, right? Which shooting star is having 500 within your first 15 days. Mm -hmm. My goal for every new consultant, I want you certified and above in less than 30 days. If we can do that within your shooting star period, then that's what we're going to do. Because I want them yeah, to make certified. There you go. You see, we yeah. want them making money. We want them feeling that excitement of like, oh my gosh, I already made my money back and more. You know, if we get them to certified within their first 15 days or their first 30 days, and then we want to encourage them, hey, if you have a friend that you know could be awesome at this and you guys are doing it together and we train you together, let's do that. So that way we're working on our new consultant. We're helping train them. We're helping train their friend. And now by helping that second person down the line, 
our frontline cannot become lead consultant. So you can have a brand new consultant that jumps from essential to certified to lead by training them that way. Let's get to shooting star. Let's get to certify and let's get a friend to join you. But that's a whole nother topic. <laughs> yeah. But you know what, too, what you were saying, like the the laundry whiffs. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I can't keep like I have to like hide it from my daughters. I'm like, you only need a scoop. <laughs> yes. I love the clothesline and the lavender cotton. Oh, it's so good. What I would do at the parties when it's time for me to talk about the uh, laundry. I'm like, oh, y'all ain't ready for this. This is what I tell them. I was like, y'all are not ready for the best laundry you've ever smelled in your life. And while I'm over here and they're sitting down, I open up the washer whiffs. And I was like, watch, I don't even have to put it to your nose. And I just start going like this. I go but like you this. know, I bought from Amazon like some little, like little packets. And that's how I, I give out samples. Mm, good. Yeah, like little sachets. It's like just, yep, a little, they have like little plastic, like different sizes on Amazon. So I was doing that. And when we had the dishwashing liquid, mm -hmm. I would put some of that on like a little sponge thing that they have and put it inside there. So it was just like different things I was like trying to use. And then it's like the people that bought from me before, they're like, oh, well, I bought this and I didn't run out yet. And I'm like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah, our laundry is no joke. Once people smell that, especially when I do like that and they're sitting down, they're like, oh my gosh. And when I pass it, they're like, I mean, I have literally had people say, no, I want to book a party just to get that. Just to get that. I it missed that on the dryer sheets. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I use the the cleaning too. Like I, it, it it's like, I literally like show I made videos like the, all-purpose cleaner yeah. like the bath cleaner like it's like true i really stopped buying like cleaner and stuff from the stores I because it's it's it really like it's 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 good like it's really good cleaner it's so our products are amazing and thank you for sharing that because it is important for us to use our products like all of the lines you know when you can with free product credit and things like that try to get a different product that you've never had because you want to be able to share it with a genuine passion of like, oh my God, our wipes are so good. Like, this is so good. Like, this is my favorite because people can sense the passion, uh -huh. and the, the genuineness of you sharing or, or loving the product. So thank you so much for, for sharing that. I have someone that asked, how do I certify it? I'm so close. So to get to certified, you have to reach a lifetime uh, sales of 1000 PRV. So, it, and it, you can do that in a day, you can do that in a month, it can be two months, but whenever you finally reach a thousand in sales, that's when you promote to certify consultant and your, uh, your pay jumps from 20% to 25%. And my goal for anyone that comes on the team, and this is, you know, we want to replicate ourselves. So as you start training new team members, you want them to prom you want them to earn shooting star. That's the 500 PRV within 15 days. And the best way to do that is for them to host their own scent social. They can call it a launch party. By them doing that, they will most likely get to certified, having over 1,000. Um, so that way they bump up to 25. And a, a bigger push is to for them to find somebody to join them on the journey. So that way we can help them promote to lead consultant, which is the next step. And that way they can earn bonuses on the sales of their team member. All right, great, great questions. Um, um, I know we're at 19 minutes past. I'm in, if you guys have any questions, I want to leave it open. If anybody has to leave, I totally re um, respect that. I want to thank you guys, first of all, for, for being here, taking time out of uh, your Tuesday, as long as we have, a, it looks like we have a, a good attendance. So thank you so much for being here. I want to keep these up every, every other Tuesday. So not next Tuesday, you know, God willing, the following Tuesday. And I'm really open to ideas and feedback on things that you want to learn. I've been doing this for 10 years. So 
sometimes it's easy for me to be like, oh, I feel like they know it all or oh, I don't know what else to say. So really, I when I say that I'm open to feedback, please, you know, let me know what you want to hear, what you want to learn from. And I am so open to that. Um, so without, um, yep. Just want to make sure oh, you're welcome. Um, can you, yes, I'm going to share all the sheets that I discussed. I'm going to share them on the team page. So if for some reason you are not in the team divine all-stars Facebook group, please send me a text message and I'll make sure to add you on there. Okay, any other final questions before we sign off? Um, I wanted to ask you something. Yeah. <clears throat> There's the Lush Gardenia. They eliminated that one. They have a new one. Is it the similar or no? Mm. Which um which fragrance are you comparing it to? The there's a new one that's called Gardenia something. I ordered some. Ah, okay. So If it's guard, if it says gardenia, you see, I don't have them all memorized. Just to, just it's so a new one. So if it has gardenia, then it's probably going to be similar. What mm -hmm. I like to do is, let's say, if it's a discontinued scent, I Google. Mm -hmm. so I'll, I'll put like Lush Gardenia Scentsy, and when uh -huh. I do that, I can usually find an old picture that has like all the fragrance notes, like the base notes inside of it. Mm -hmm. And then I compare it to the new one. So I'll tell my client, um, I'm trying to see if I could find it on here. I don't want to take up you guys' time, but um, at the end of the day, I'll be like, oh, okay, well, Lush Gardenia has Gardenia and a hint of this, and this new fragrance has Gardenia and this. So it's similar, not exact, but it's similar. So that's kind of what I do is like, I compare both. And okay. also a little tip, this is kind of like a fun fact if let's say you have a client that's like oh what do you have with sandalwood and you're like oh my gosh I don't know you can actually go to your website your personal website and in mm -hmm. the search option type sandalwood and all the products that have sandalwood in that in that product in that fragrance is going to pop up for you oh, okay So that is something that I like to use a lot when I'm like consulting with someone like, Hey, what are some of your favorite, what type of notes do you like? So I can kind of help come up with a bundle for them. They tell me, mm -hmm. Oh, I like mango. Okay. So I search mango and then I let them know, Oh, these are the three fragrances that have mango, or these are the two that have coconut. And that way I can help customize a package for them. Mm. Good night at the run. You guys, another thing. Well, good night. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks. Oh, I, I don't know if okay. Anything else? Any other questions? It sounds like someone's trying to say something, but it sounds a little staticky. Yes, yeah, they're like they're breaking up. Any other questions? Thank you so much for the, the, you know, the meeting. Oh, you're so welcome. Thank you so much for, for joining. I really appreciate it. That really means a lot. Yeah. To me. I really learned a lot today you know, that I know. So that's good. Mm -hmm. awesome. Mm -hmm. All righty. Well, I'll be uploading this to YouTube. And um, once it's all fully uploaded, I will share everything on the Facebook team page. So again, guys, thank you so much for joining. It, I really do appreciate you guys taking the time uh, for your business and, you know, probably apart from your families to, to learn and grow. And if you guys need anything, I am here for you all. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. Bye. Good night. Good night. Good night.